you already know what are minerals minerals are naturally occurring elements or chemical compounds of rocks that is what rocks is made up of now this is a picture of the mineral hematite now do you know one thing you can obtain metals such as iron copper silver and gold from this mineral isn't it interesting now this hematite is also used in making jewelry so minerals from which we obtain metals are called metallic minerals so in this case hematite is a mineral from which we can obtain metals such as iron copper gold and silver so it will be called metallic minerals so what example do we have of metallic mineral it is hematite now fool's gold or pyrite is also one example of metallic mineral do you know why is it called fool's gold it is called fool's gold because it has the same color as gold and is also glossy like gold to so some people get fooled thinking this as gold so this it is also called fool's gold so you know that minerals can be classified into metallic minerals like hematite now it also can be classified into non metallic minerals now what are non metallic minerals minerals from which we do not obtain any metals are called non metallic minerals from metallic minerals we obtain metals but from non metallic minerals we do not obtain any metals such as mica and common salt from these minerals you cannot derive any metals now let us study about some differences between these metallic minerals and non metallic minerals so metallic minerals like hematite has a shine of its own so metallic minerals have shine of its own while non metallic minerals they have a dull appearance they appear as dull now what about metallic minerals they are quite ductile what do you mean by ductile ductile means that they can be drawn into wires without breaking so metallic minerals can be drawn into wires very easily without breaking while non metallic minerals they are non ductile that means they cannot be drawn into wires can you draw common salt into wires obviously not so you know that metals can be extracted from metallic minerals well why that is the name given to it from hematite we can obtain iron copper silver and gold that is why they are called metallic minerals while from non metallic minerals you cannot obtain any metals so what differences did we study between metallic minerals and non metallic minerals first of all metallic minerals have shine of their own they have their own luster while non metallic minerals do not have a shine of their own they do not have any luster second they are quite ductile that is they can be drawn into wires without breaking while non metallic minerals are non ductile they cannot be drawn into wires now metals can be extracted from metallic minerals well we know that very nicely the metals cannot be extracted from non metallic minerals well in the example of hematite we saw we can extract metals such as iron copper silver and gold from the metallic mineral and from the non metallic mineral such as common salt we cannot extract any metal now metallic minerals are generally derived from igneous rocks and non metallic minerals are generally derived from sedimentary rocks so these are the differences between metallic minerals and non metallic minerals